Hey, Kristen. Um, ended up replacing that Tootsie Roll capacitor that was sitting right here. That one that looked like that. Because even though it's ESR uh, checked out well, it actually does leak a little bit more than I would like it to. A little bit more than a completely fresh filter capacitor. So I um, rebuilt that stage too. And uh, basically I'm going to replace every capacitor in the filtering or the power supply stage of it. And this these, these set here is hooked up through here getting what's called reformed and when that meter gets all the way down flat to zero it's just a little bit above then it will be completely what they call reformed what is what you're supposed to do with uh, electrolytic capacitors that are in storage and uh, these two yellow ones I've had for about a year and a half this one I've had about six months and that's a, a Nishikon from Japan, but it's rated at 450 volts, and all the circuit requires at this point is 250 volts of capability. But uh, the the Sprags, which are the best that money can buy, according to many people, are um, 300 volts. I don't know if you can see it with this light, but lighting is always rough. Alrighty.